Hello again. So we're going to talk about velocity while something is in free fall. Specifically, what happens to it? Is it changing? Is it going constant velocity when something is in free fall or being pulled down by gravity without air having too much of an effect? Our objective is to be able to solve for uh, beginning velocity and ending speed or velocity or the time it takes for something to reach a certain velocity when it's in free fall. So on Earth, gravity causes everything to uh, change its velocity by 9.8 meters per second each second. This is when it's in free fall. So what that means is if something starts with the speed of zero, it's going to gain about 10 meters per second in speed or velocity each second. So after one second, it'd be going 10, two seconds, 20, three seconds, 30, four seconds, about 40. Now in this class, it's okay if you use 10, um, simply because it's a round number and makes it a lot easier. Oftentimes you'll see your teacher do that just to make life easier and not have to use a calculator. But 9.8 is the slightly more accurate version of it, and there's an even more accurate version we'll talk about in a second. So what this means is that if speed's changing by 9.8 or about 10 each second, then that means the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second per second, or 9.8 meters per second squared. So what that means is gravity accelerates everything at that rate of 9.8 or about 10. And this is for everything on or near the surface of the Earth, meaning uh, in any tall buildings, that's still fine, uh, on top of a mountain, still okay. But if you're like doing the Red Bull space jump or something, you're probably getting up high enough that the value of gravity is going to be a little bit less than 9.8. So because this is such a common value for acceleration, meaning um, this value of acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared is just always around when things are falling and stuff like that, and we use it a lot, we often will replace A with G to represent an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared when we know that's going to be the value. So for example, we've got G. It always means 9.8 or about 10 or whatever the value of gravity is you're using. IB uses 9.81, so if you're thinking about it, you might use 9.81 in this class. But anytime we see an equation with A in it, we can always plug in a value of G if the acceleration is caused by gravity. So for example, we've got this uh, how to calculate the speed of something after it's been accelerating for a little bit of time or this is final speed, initial speed, acceleration, and time. And if we know the acceleration is from gravity, then we can just plug in a value of g, and that will give us the acceleration, uh, sorry, the final speed of something that's accelerating due to gravity, where g is just 9.8 or negative 9.8, depending on which direction you call positive, up or down, your choice. So here's a practice problem. Someone throws a baseball straight up at 30 meters per second. Calculate the baseball's velocity at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 seconds. See if you can do this on your own. So go ahead and pause it now. Yes, actually, go ahead and pause it. I'll wait. All right, so assuming you pause this and tried this, let's go ahead and go through the answer. I'm going to use the given unknown equation substitute solution, so the guess method to solve this. I know my initial velocity or velocity at time of zero is 30, so I'm just going to plug that in. We have that as a given information. We know gravity equals 10 or negative 10. I'll call it down as negative in this case. We're looking for the final velocity after one second. I'm going to plug into this equation in order to solve, but A is just going to equal gravity or negative 10. So if I plug in those values, what I get where 30 is here, We've got negative 10 for gravity as the value for acceleration, and we've got 1 or our time right here. I get that it's going 20 meters per second. So gravity is, in this case, slowing the ball down as it goes up. So that's why it'll be 20. And we can plug in over and over and over and over and over and over again, and we can see this pattern. Sorry, there's an extra I there. Ignore that, please. But we can see that it goes from 30 down to 20, 10, 0, negative 10, negative 20, negative 30. What this means is it just changed direction, or at the top is where it reached. And that took about three seconds, and that's around the time it began to change direction and pick up speed going down. That's it for this uh, micro lecture. Please do three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms, please.